So the, the curatorial involvement in the website, I guess, kind of plays out in a number of ways. One of which is that we're increasingly asking curators to write blogs for exhibitions and to be filmed doing introductions to the exhibitions and you'll see that lots more of that kind of uh, content coming and I think in a, in, you know, in, in a number of years it'll become commonplace to, for curators to be much more visible online around their exhibitions and, and talking about it and so on and certainly you see the, the, the younger curators under, naturally understand this a lot more and, and uh, are much keener to, to be involved in that. In terms of curatorial projects com commissioned for the website, um, I think that's really going to happen in, in a number of ways. The, 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 well, we had a net art program that ran from about uh, from the kind of late 90s to the kind of early to mid 2000s um, and that and that's kind of stopped and now we're sort of looking at it, in, at it in a slightly different way which is in two ways one of which is that because those those projects were really initiated within what was the web department was then called digital programs and they were really initiated from within the web department so the uh, what we want to do now is involve the curators of the collection and the curators of the various programs within Tate in using the website as a platform. And so the first way that we're, that's happening at the moment, as an example, is that we're running a project called BMW Tate Live, where we are uh, the performance curators, the curators of performance at Tate Modern, are commissioning performance artists to produce performance works ex explicitly and exclusively for the website. So, and that, you know, the, the questions that arise around that, around what is performance when it's beamed live across the world and there's a live kind of Twitter, uh, stream of Twitter comments next to it, kind of raises interesting questions around, you know, the, the, the artist's relationship with its audience and the curator's relationship with uh, the uh, the digital spaces. And the second thing we're seeing is that Tate is starting to accession into the collection uh, artworks that are websites themselves. And I mean, that raises lots of challenges around conservation of those, those things because, you know, let's say for example that they're built on the current version of WordPress. Well, how, you know, if Tate's going to own that website forever somehow we're going to in you know in a hundred years we're going to have to have a web server somewhere that runs WordPress version well three or four or whatever it is now uh, so that you know that raises interesting challenges around conservation and what is what is what is the website and, and how do you archive it 